During my first tour of Lehigh University, one of the few amazing aspects I could always remember was the statue of the boy holding the book. Between classes is a bronze statue of a young boy holding a book with a red Jansport backpack on the ground. From a distance, most people would think that this statue was a real student. I remember my tour guide walking directly towards the statue and making a whole speech about how spectacular the statue is. Since he is located in the typical route that people walk to class in and has a realistic backpack and notebook, who wouldn't assume that this statue is not a real person? Sometimes on a late night walk home from the library, students will jump as they go by the statue due to how realistic it looks. Even though the statue can scare you if you're not expecting it, it really is a statue that holds so much significance at Lehigh. Between Classes was created by the artist John Seward Johnson. He was born on April 16, 1930, in New Jersey. Surprisingly, Johnson did not have an, a background in art. He attended the University of Maine and majored in poultry husbandry and then enlisted in the Navy. Following the Navy, he attended a few art classes in Cambridge, Massachusetts. When Johnson started his career, he started off painting, but then decided to experiment with sculptures. He decided to enter his first sculpture, A Stainless Steel Woman, into the Design and Steel Art Competition. This is a competition that is administered by the Association of Collegiate Schools of Architecture and by the American Institute of Steel Construction, which is a competition that challenges undergraduate and graduate students to design a sculpture out of steel. Out of 7,000 entries, Johnson won. Now Sear Johnson is known for his sculptures. His sculptures represent humanity due to their realism of humans. He does this by making the statues life-size and very detailed. Many of Johnson's works can be seen nearby at Grounds for Sculpture in Hamilton, New Jersey, which is an outdoor museum that Jay Seaver Johnson founded in 1984. His sculptures are not only located in the United States, but worldwide. Johnson unfortunately passed away March 10, 2020, but his spectacular sculptures are still here today. As Seaver Johnson said, I want my work to disappear into the landscape and then take a viewer by surprise. After he gets over the big shock of being fooled, it becomes an emotional discovery. Then he owns the sculpture. People often revisit their favorites. They become like friends. And this is exactly what Between Classes accomplishes.